Hi, and welcome to another day of Swift coding. Your challenge here is to make a countdown timer. All right, good luck. So let's create a new Xcode project. It'll be a single view app. We'll call it countdown. Oops, I didn't mean to do caps, but ah, it doesn't matter. Put it on the desktop. All right, first create your view. So we'll need pretty much just a label and maybe, a, yeah, let's do a start button as well to start the timer. So label, now remember, you can do that. Click it and press enter. And then we need a button, enter. That's pretty cool. That'll be our start that up the top, rename your button to start, and our label, we'll set that up too. So next, connecting our UI elements to our code, uh, countdown label, and our start button action. Set this to button, um, start, countdown, I'll call it, and connect that. And now let's do our code. So we'll count, count down from 20. And we're going to need a timer to do the countdown. So let's create a timer. So we go var timer equals timer. There we go. That's created our timer. And then to initialize, initialize the timer, we do this timer whoops, equals now make sure it's the small t, so that's that one there. Uh, you could call it clock or something else because that is a bit confusing having them both the same, so be careful. The one that's colored, that's built into Swift. Well, this one is a variable we created. So we're gonna go timer. It's gonna be a scheduled timer with a time interval. It's going to repeat. Uh, yeah, it's going to repeat. And do we need a block? This one's got a block. Let's just maybe do this one here. Uh, invocation. We need a target though. So it might be this one here. That's it there. So it says time interval, target, a selector. That's where we're going to be. This time is going to trigger a function every time it goes. Yep, user info and repeat. So select that one. Okay, so a timer interval, let's set it to every second. So just put one. Our target, uh, just put self here. And our selector is going to be our function. So we're going to count down. So go hash selector. And it says objective C method. Yep, which will be uh, count down method. I'm just going to do that just so it's something different to count down. You're going to start getting confused with each thing. You'll get an error. Don't worry about that. Put nil in here, in here and true for repeating. All right, so it's going to trigger that. Now we have to create an, an at objective C method, which is going to be this one. Yeah, so at objective C function. And don't worry if you stuff up, stuff up that function, it'll just um, ask, it'll say, oh, this is a objective C function. You have to put that in front. Okay, and that happens with button actions as well. So in here, our countdown is going to decrease. And then we have to update the label. So the countdown label dot text will equal The countdown. Whoops, we have to put that in 
there. It's, it's a, a variable in a string, because it's an int, we can't put an int in a string, and text requires that we have a string. There we go, so that's that. Let's, let's give it a run, fingers crossed. Oh, I always do that, don't I? <laughs> I need to do it on here so I can show you what it looks like. So it is also good to test on your phone or iPad if you have one. If you don't, the simulator is quite fun. All right, while that's building, let's review. So we create our timer. To create the timer, we do this. We go timer, schedule timer, time interval, so every second this is going to trigger target self. The selector is the method, so this is the method that does everything, countdown method. All right, we're just about there. And the countdown label text will print our subtraction there. So we'll go start, 19, 18, 17. Now, um, you notice that it said um, label at the start there. So let's fix that. So all you do, when view does load, this is where you'll set that up. So countdown label, the text, and let's set it to the countdown time. I'll run that again. You could even do it in the, uh, storyboard, but probably best to do it with uh, the code. And there we go, 20, 19, 18. And now it's going to keep on going below zero. So there's some more challenges for you. Try to make it stop. So stop the timer when it gets to zero. Um, a thing you want there is you can look at what's built into the timer. I'll quickly show you here actually, dot. Okay, we've got firefighter invalidate. So that's the one that will stop the timer. So you'll need to do an if else to check where the countdown is in this method and then stop it. And you can put an action in that if else statement too when you invalidate that timer. Okay, great. Well, have a great one. Thank you for tuning in again.